Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda. Welcome back. Welcome to week number one of the hashtag CCT52 challenge uh, 2024 for Caroline's Craft Tree. Uh, she did her uh, challenge already and I'm following her prompts. It just makes more sense for me to um, follow her prompts than stopping and starting and doing all that with my videos. And I will check to see if she has a, um, like a, a section to post all of your photos and stuff. I'm not sure yet. So she rolled a four, which is, let me just grab my little list here. So she, she rolled a four, so it's page or page cover. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then she wrote, uh, the prompts are something sweet, water, repeat pattern, and a summer themed item. So that's what it is for today. So let's have a play. I'm pretty excited to get started. <clears throat> I wasn't sure how it was uh, going to pan out at first. but So for my repeat pattern, I have these... I'm just going to grab one of the little stamps here, if I can get into it. I received these from my friend Barbara. She uh, was kind enough to gift these to me. And so I'm going to use just this little one here. It's kind of little leaves and flowers and stuff like that. And I'll put that all over the page. For my something sweet, I have this uh, label, Lemon Sugar. Uh, from a coffee company. I thought that would be cute for my water. I have this map page and it's going to be a little flip up. And then for my summer themed item, I have these uh, sweet little kids and a little lamb there uh, in their summer garb and looking up at the sky. And that's going to go into uh this and it's going to lay on my page I think that's what I'm going to do anyway but for my repeat pattern it's gonna go all around here like I could use this as my repeat pattern because it's from a uh, coffee dyeing uh, doily but I'm going to add some uh, stamping on it as well so I just need to Get that off of there, but it has a, I'm thinking it's a little coating thing. I'm sure I used these already, so, hmm, maybe not. Maybe it's the other one I used, actually, but we'll see how they, I'm just going to go around the edges because that's what you'll see the most of. And they're little roses and you can't really see it. So I'm going to grab a, a color that will be noticeable on the page. And I'm just going to grab up this green. It's a Lucky Clover Oxide ink from Tim Holtz. And it will kind of tie in with the other colors that I have. So I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're excited for this year's... Uh, challenges it's going to be going to be some fun happening i'm excited and just thinking of all the ephemera that uh we can all make you know like you saw the journal when we did the flip through there is a ton of uh ephemera and inspiration just in one journal so well I'm just going around the edge you won't be able to see it but I will be putting it inside as well I didn't realize it was going to cover the whole entire page I could trim it down which is probably what I should do and then it's going to be a page in a journal like this, and then it can open up. And then I'll have, uh, as we go, I'll make pockets inside here and on the back. And But um, I don't have anything made yet 
to put anything into. That'll come hopefully uh, next week. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do another journal and how I want to create it. The sizing is always um, the issue, right? I'm just going to do the last stamp on there just to stamp off. So there we go. But I think I will uh, cut this down just a touch. But I still want the uh, birds and stuff on there. And I had put it onto some thin cardboard because I was going to make it a, a book board and then I changed my mind. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just glue this flap down. It's just quick little projects. Nothing too uh, heavy duty unless, of course, you want to embellish it. And you can embellish it as much as you want or as little as you want. And see, now you can see more of the uh, repeat pattern that we have going on there. So there we go. And then for this, I'm going to, oh, I made it the same height. Isn't that funny? I didn't think that would happen. But I'm going to attach it in here, but I'm trying to decide if I want to have it as a side tuck. I'd like to keep my options open for that. And that may, can put a huge tag in there. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to glue the three sides. And if you want a list of all the prompts, uh, Caroline does have them on her Facebook group. And I will put the links below so that you can find all the necessary information. And she says if you want to have your own, like do your own prompts, then do your own prompts. You can... Uh, roll the dice or however it is you're going to do it and get your prompts and then create uh, whatever it is you're going to create. It's it's just meant to be fun and relaxing and yeah you just create. So there's that. So then it'll open. There'll be a pocket and then you'll open it again and then we'll have pockets in here eventually. Now for this, I just want to break up that uh, color here. I mean, you can put anything you want on these. So I'm not going to leave this as a tuck spot. I'm going to glue it completely down. And because it's new, it's just starting out. It'll take uh, a little bit to get into the groove, but hopefully it'll all be good. And so there's my something sweet. So something sweet, water. There's my summer themed item. And my repeat pattern is going all the way around. And I brought it into here as well. So that is our first challenge. So good. And like I said, I have nothing to put it in right now. But um, if this were a page, then it would be attaching to that. And so you'd have this, and you turn a page, and then you'd have that side. So there we go. Well, let me just show you the sheet. You can take a screenshot of it if you want, or you can go to... Uh, Caroline's site. It's probably better to do that anyway. And there's a couple pages of the prompts. And what I did is I just put a tick uh, of the ones that she chose. And so what I'll do is as we do it, I'm going to cut them out, put them in a jar, and then I know those ones are done. 
So something sweet, water, summer themed item. And in the mixed media bit was a repeat pattern. So I just put little dots there and then I'm gonna cut them out. All right, hopefully that made sense. I'll put her uh, Facebook group in the description box and her YouTube so you can go and see what she created. And yeah, just have fun. Oh, look at this. In every twinkling crystal lives a memory of the sea. I'm just going to add that on there. I just had that sitting on my desk. Why not? Like as long as you have the prompts, if you don't have something, then replace it with something else. Right? It's that easy. Just like before. If you don't have something, use something else. I'm just going to add that right there. Like, isn't that something? I have another one too. Oh, it's the same thing. But I have, oh, there's all kinds of things on my desk. And how fun to be able to use something else. Rub that off. So there we go. There's our first challenge for 2024. So fun. Hope you enjoyed that. It was quick, very easy. And uh, yeah, it's, it's your turn. Create something, post it to her Facebook group. Um, you know, like download all of the, uh, all the prompts and cut them out. Do it all yourself or follow along with Caroline. It's your choice. It's all fun. All right. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy that you're all here. Take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.